it's Charlottie and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today, the setup is a little bit different and a little bit weird. There's stuff on the floor. <laughs> but today I thought I would take you guys along in the process of putting together a cat tree. Recently, it was my little cat, Jimmy's birthday. He turned three. However, he's been quite ill, unfortunately, and he's been in at the vets for a couple of nights because he's dealing with a bladder issue, but he's on the mend, which is good. So hopefully he'll be coming home very soon. And so I thought I'd set up a birthday present for him that my mom got him which is a giant cat tree. Now, when I say it's giant, like, I'm looking at all these pieces and like, it's giant. <laughs> like, even just this, what, hello? And there's like four, five of these? Maybe even six? So this is gonna be a process. I'm not a DIY legend, but I think I can hack this. I'm excited about it and I'm gonna take you guys along as we put it together. I guess without further ado, let's get started. This is giant. I feel like I could knock someone out with this. Right, so I'm gonna follow instructions because I'm a sense DIYer. So first of all, let's start with the first bit, I guess. So this is the base part, which is like the biggest section of it. So I guess this is how big it's gonna be on the floor. I'm thinking that I'm gonna move the mirror and maybe I'll have to move the plant depending. I think the cat tree is gonna go here. So it's in the background of streams and stuff. So Jimmy can actually hang out, which is nice. Firstly, it's got these little stoppers on, which, oh Jesus, I'm gonna take off. Okay, so then I need it facing with the logo up, which is this. And we need to put three big, pole things on it, which are these things. So these are like the supports. God, this is like building a cake or something. You know, when you get those tiered cakes and they all have, you know, what, no, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so then we're gonna need screws, which I have many, uh, and we're gonna screw them in. I have my screwdrivers with me, which is good. Actually, I don't need them. It's an Allen key. I freaking love Allen keys. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, it's this way. I was like, what is this? <gasps> Wait, it's an Allen key that comes with a screw drivey bit. Oh my god. Has anyone ever seen one of these? This is my first time seeing an Allen screw key. What? That sounds really strange. How do I know which way? Does it matter? I feel like it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna do this one first, like that. Okay. Oh, perfect. Right, let me screw it in with my hand first. Oh, I can rest this on my shoulder. This is like a whole workout so far. From what I'm realizing from the get-go, this is easier if you have a second person. <laughs> also, I will link it below, the cat tree I got. Uh, and I will, oh God, put it on my Amazon uh, content page. Amazon content page, what is it called? Amazon affiliation storefront. There we go. So you can buy it off there if you want it. That is in pretty tight and secure. Nice, there we go, that's the first one done. Now we need to do the second two. Okay, I think that is the base done. Well, that's actually really cool. Okay, perfect, so that's this bit done. I feel like I should start doing things on the floor now because if I build the whole cat tree on my lap, I think I will collapse. So I am going to move this onto the floor. Okay, right, step two. Okay, step two is we're putting on the top bit. <laughs> Look at me just being an absolute crescent, oh my goodness. Let's move some of these pieces away. Actually, I'm gonna build it in the middle, not where I'm gonna put it, just so I have full access to all sides. But we're now doing the second big bit, which has a fun handy dandy, ta-da, little ramp thing. And it's meant to go like this way up, I believe. <laughs> Done. No, we definitely have to screw this in. So I'm just lining up the holes and then we're gonna screw the screws down. But I think we might be using different screws. Oh yeah, okay, so we're using like, oh wait, what? Okay, I think for some we're using normal screws and then for some we're not. This long one is meant to go here. And I think it's because on top of this, there's gonna be another tube. So it's like a two-ended screw, if that makes sense. And then I think normal screws on the other ends, like this. Oh, this is fun. Whee! Why am I a five-year-old? 
I'm really excited actually to see his reaction. Unfortunately, we won't have his reaction in this video because he's still at the vet. But if you guys do want to check out kind of his reaction to it, you can check out my Twitch uh, because he will be in the background of some streams, hopefully. Feels secure. Does too. Oh, sturdy. We love to see it. Okay, that's really good. Cool, amazing. And then this is out like it's meant to be. Okay, we're on to step three. This is so exciting, let's go. Okay, so the next step is we're going to be putting in some different things, including these like little wooden dowel things. I can't remember what these are called, but we need to put these in because there's more stuff that's gonna be going on top. Three of those, and then also three of these, which are like very strange screws. So the dowels are gonna go in first, I think. Ooh, it's quite satisfying putting these in. Now, these are gonna go in, and our Allen key has a screw there. Nice. I don't actually understand how this is gonna work, like, because the top is just a screw. But time will tell, I guess. Also, for audio reasons, I've turned off my fan that I normally have on in my office, and oh my god, is it boiling? And it's meant to be even warmer next week, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pass out, it's gonna be so warm. Okay, that's in. Last one. Okay, I think these are all securely in, so we can move on to the next step. So now we have C and we are gonna put C downwards, like this, apparently. Oh, it's here, it's here. Okay, I was getting very confused. So it has like holes on the bottom that join up to this. So if I just line them up nicely, okay. And then just kind of shimmy it down. Nice, that's in the right place. I'm just gonna take off the stickers because I realized that some of the other parts I have left the stickers on. And then step five is very similar. We're just gonna put the other piece on the other end, which I think is this one. Damn, oh, I forgot guys. There's, I, I forgot to put screws in one of the bits. Damn it, we were doing so well. <laughs> nice, okay, now we should be able to put on this part and it should be the same where the ridges should be facing in and shimmy it down. Try not to force it too much just in case. <gasps> nice, look at that! I think this is gonna be like the box. So now we're gonna slide in the other pieces, uh, which is exciting. So we have B and it has a arrow for some reason. I'm guessing it means it goes downwards. Uh, we're just gonna put in the ridges. There we go. Very nice. That fits in lovely. And then we have to do the same for the circle bit, which is this bit. Now this bit is white. I kind of wish it was wood as well. Yeah, I found it odd that this circle bit is white. It almost looks like it's a bit unfinished, but I guess if I wanted to, I could try and like paint it or something. I really like this cat tree though, because a lot of the cat trees that you get on the internet are like gray and white. And I wanted one that looked like more natural, more like the furniture I already have. And I feel like one, this one does, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I'll take this and this. I'm doing something terribly wrong. Maybe it needs to go this way. Maybe. Oh, that's why. Wow. The arrow lied to me. The arrow was making me put it in a weird direction. This is how it works. Yeah, that's looking so much better. On to the next step. We need to put in screws and stuff. Oh, I should have done that in the previous steps. <gasps> I'm missing steps. I'm being a heathen. I need to screw in these like little, what are these? They're kind of like nuts, but they're not. So I need to put these in and then I need to screw them in. How about if I take these bits out and then I screw these bits in first? I think these are in quite nicely. Okay, so now I think I can slide these back in. There we go. Okay, so now we have like other screw bits to do, I think, where we're doing dowels. We're doing dowels again. Are these even called dowels? I feel like they're like doweling rods, but not really. They're like tiny. And then the next step is to do something completely different so great <laughs> okay so for this bit we're doing a similar thing where we put the screws in here and then it will go on top the dowels will go in and then these screws will go in here so now i just need to put some screws in this bit i believe Okay, that's 
that's nice and secure. And now I think this just plonks on top, honestly. This is just going to hop on top, but obviously we need to try and line it up as best as we can. I'm just gonna apply some gentle pressure on each side. Oh, nice! Oh my God, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to do. This is what it's looking like so far, which is pretty exciting. So now there's like a, a proper cubby hole in there, which is kind of cool. So now we've done that bit, we are going to put more of these little security bits somewhere. Oh, they go inside. What? Are you joking? I need to try and screw these inside whilst this is on. Like, do I need to do this? This doesn't feel right. <laughs> what the hell? Two more. I am sweating so much, by the way. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but my glasses keep falling down my nose because my nose is so sweaty. It's actually very, very sad. These are all in. Perfect. Nice. Next, we're putting this on, which is like a fluffy version of these tubes, which are so, so cute. And we're gonna screw it in. This is so cute, it's so fluffy. Okay, that's a nice and tight. Amazing, look at that, it works. So this tube is gonna go on here, and this already has like a screw here. So we're gonna put it on here. Okay, and then we're gonna put another one of those double screws because yet another thing is gonna go on top of this. So we have this, which is gonna be like a little basket. And the way we want to do it, we're gonna put this with the screw through it. And then this goes on top. Now I need to decide where I want this basket to be. How cute is this? Next step is to put on another layer, which goes on top, which is actually one of the final steps, which is really exciting. That is this bit, I believe. And it goes down like this, so that there's this kind of little bell thing that Jimmy can play with when he's in here. Right, so then this needs to be screwed in using the normal screws. nice and secure and then the final bit is to put on some of the like covers if that makes sense for example this one which goes right here make sure it's fit on here properly how cute is this oh my god it looks so cozy and comfy and then we have this one which I believe goes inside. And then we have this one, which goes on top. How cute is this? It's so comfy and cozy. I absolutely love it. Oh, I think you screw that bit into the wall so it's like wall mounted, but I don't want to wall mount it. So I think that's fine. Okay, I think this is it guys. I think like this is the final cat tree. I'm gonna put it in this space and we're gonna see what it looks like. It's not as wide as I thought, which I'm actually quite grateful for. Like that. Oh my God, wait, this is so cute. I love this. And we could even keep the mirror behind. Like this maybe, something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see, I might have to change some stuff up. But I feel like that's the cat tree and I feel like it looks super duper awesome. I really, really like it. Well, I hope you guys liked me building this cat tree. Uh, in future, maybe we'll do a bit more DIY, random video vlog things uh, because hopefully soon I'll be moving out. Um, we'll see, fingers crossed. I hope you like this and like the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you would like to see any other similar videos and what other videos you would like to see on this channel. Also feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video on Saturday and a YouTube short every single day. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.